Welcome to Lovers of Jesus Ministries International. The message you are about to hear is from the Lord's anointed Dr. Edward Irobi, the man with the mandate to proclaim the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and to raise an army for the Lord in this end time. You are welcome, my brothers and sisters, from any part of the world where you are, you are watching us this evening. Um, this evening, the Lord has beautiful thing to give to us. Actually, I want to let you know, you are the right place at the right time. Why? Because you are in the presence of the Lord. You are ready to receive from the Lord and the Lord is ready to bless you. Today, we are going to look into a beautiful discussion today. And that discussion is going to be Jehovah Sabaoth the Lord of hosts, Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. Shall we pray? Eternal Heavenly Father, we exalt your holy name. Thank you for bringing us together from different parts of the world to hear your word. The Bible says that the entrance of your word giveth light. We pray that the light that accompanies your word will shine into our hearts. Let darkness flee. Let your word be done in our lives today as it is in heaven, as we wait patiently for the coming of the Lord Jesus, and as you continue to make us to be like your son. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Beloved, today I'm so excited that um, we are continuing from where we stopped last week. Remember last week, Sunday, we started a new series. And that series happened to be the names of God. The Lord has desired that we, his children, should acquaint ourselves with his name the meaning of the names of God. When we pray, when we meditate on God's word and in our everyday activity, the Lord wants us to be cognizant, be uh, appreciative of his name. So last week, we started off with the Lord, our shepherd, the Lord, my shepherd. Today, we are continuing with the Lord of hosts, or Jehovah Sabaoth. So, let's have an overview. The word Sabaoth literally means to mass together or to assemble. To mass together or to assemble. This is a Hebrew word. So, the Hebrew word Sabaoth often has a military connotation, such as a group of fighting men or an army. Let's check it out. A group of an army or fighting men. Let's go to the word of the Lord in the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse number four. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise, eh? the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustered the host of the barrel. Then if you can go with me, let, let, let's go to the word of the Lord in the book of um, 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45. We, we shall come back to this again, but... Let's read only that, that verse right now. First Samuel chapter 17, verse number 45. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, that God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defiled. Today, we are exploring the Lord of hosts, or in the Hebrew world, Jehovah Sabaoth. So, another word that, um, another way we can uh, describe this is, um, I mean, the terminology uh, uh, Sabaoth is that sometimes Sabaoth refers to the host of heaven. The host of heaven. Let's check it out. Psalm chapter 148, verse number 2. 
Psalm 148, verse number 2. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye all his hosts. So, this is another way when we talk about Sabbath, referring to the host of heaven. So, picturing God as Lord of the multitudes of angels, which are numbered as a thousand thousand and ten thousand times ten thousand. You, you remember where that uh, is situated in the Bible? Let's check again. The book of uh, Daniel. Let, let, let's get that in together. The book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 10. You know, this is Bible study. We continue to flip a lot of portions of the scriptures uh, getting the uh, our hearts soaked with the word of the Lord. The book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 7 verse number 10. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him and ten thousand times 10,000 stood before him. The judgment was set and the books were opened. Describing our God as Lord of multitudes. When we talk about Sabbath. So Sabbath also is used to describe the innumerable stars in the night sky. That's how the psalmist, the psalmist use the word Sabbath also to describe the innumerable stars in the night sky. Let's check what uh, the psalmist says in the book of Psalm chapter 103 verse 20 and 21. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments. Hacking unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Sabbath, meaning innumerable stars in the night, describing innumerable stars in the night. So, what are we drawing out from? this world. The important thing about this name for God is that whether it is armies, angels, or stars, Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, rules over all things, both on earth and in heaven. That's the word the Lord wants to give to all of us right now. The Lord wants us to have the understanding. Hey, my children, I am still the ruler, the Lord of hosts. Remember the word Lord means the one who owns. That's why our king, the king of kings and lord of lords, the Lord Jesus is known as the Lord of lords. The Lord who owns all the lords who rules over all the lords. So, the Lord of hosts is our God. He rules in the heavens. He rules on the earth. He rules beneath the earth. He rules in the firmament. He rules in all the realms and dimension. Just imagine, when you know that you are God, is the ruler, the one who has the final word in the heavens, the one who has the final word on earth, the one who has the final word beneath the earth, and in all the realms and dimensions, how do you think you behave? You just sleep like a little baby, snoring in the arms of the mama. The Lord of hosts is our God. So, 
Now, let's get it together. Jehovah Sabaoth. Let's get them together. Jehovah Sabaoth. Remember, we just finished exploring the word Sabaoth. So, which literally really means um, mass together or to assemble. So, Jehovah Sabaoth is one of God's names in the Bible. Just like last week, we explored the word Jehovah or rather the, the meaning of the uh, um, of these words, Jehovah Rohi, the Lord my shepherd. So right now, we are going to appreciate this revelation the Lord is going to give us today about Jehovah Sabaoth. So as we have explored that Jehovah Sabaoth is one of God's names, that we have noted in the Bible. So, and it may interest us to know that it occurs over 260 times in the Old Testament. So it's very significant. It combines God's personal name, Jehovah, which the Hebrew word Yahweh, with the Hebrew word Sabaoth, meaning host. Or multitude, just like we expl explained. So Jehovah Sabaoth means the Lord of hosts. So Jehovah Sabaoth is therefore the name of God, which depicts him as the captain of the myriads of angelic beings whom he can assemble together to do his bidding. This makes me excited. He is the captain of all the myriads of angels, thousands and ten thousand thousands of angels. And he can deploy them at any time on your behalf. Have you noted the scripture that says, the Lord will give men in exchange for you just because you are his own child. Just because I belong to him, he is a jealous God. As the Lord of hosts, his eyes are moving to and fro to show himself strong and mighty on behalf of all his children. Remember, we have explored in this forum the Lord who sees all things, the omniscient God and omniscience God who has both maximal knowledge and all knowledge about everything. Now he's telling us, I am a warrior. I am the captain of all the angelic armies. And uh, you, you remember, this reminds me the words that uh, prophet uh, Elisha gave to his servant. And uh, one day the Assyrians gathered against the children of Israel and uh, people were panicking and the servant of the Lord came out and saw the host of the armies of the Assyrians. And he went to, uh, to the chamber of the man of God and said, Hey, man of God, we have, we, in short, come and see the host of the uh, uh, of, uh, armies of uh, king of Assyria. We are done. We are finished. Well, I don't think we have any way of escape. The man of God calmed him down and said, come, come, I will show you something. And he prayed, Lord, open his eyes, let him see. And uh, when the eyes of the servant of Elisha saw, oh, he said, oh, I can see the host of angels. And that's why Elisha told him, they that are with us are greater. The host of angels surrounding the children of Israel, greater than the number of the armies of the Assyrians. This is a message God is giving to somebody. I don't know what you are thinking, what keeps you panicking. Just like my sister uh, highlighted before we started this study, you know, about the battles all of us are facing, if not in our homes, outside in where we work or in the community where we live or in the nation. Battles are raging every time, but the Lord wants to let us know that 
He is the captain of angelic armies, warriors of light that outnumber the warriors of darkness. Don't fear. I am with you. I am the captain of the armies of heaven. I will fight for you. Oh, come behold the works of God, the nations at his feet. He breaks the bow and bends the spear and tells the wars to cease. Oh, mighty one of Israel, you are on our side. We walk.